Hello, good evening, happy Friday. It's Friday. <laughs> that it is. I mean, what are we gonna call this? Let's just call this the finale to live week on Mo's channel. And so, <laughs> I, you know, I figured to end it off on the right foot. I brought my girl, Venice Loves. Hello, everybody. I'm back again. Right? This is her <laughs> second home. <laughs> basically, basically, I live here now. <laughs> but Venice does have a channel. Everything's linked and listed down below. Yay. So this Yay. evening, we're going to be talking about Rowan Beauty. Good old Rowan Beauty. So really quick, if you're unfamiliar with the brand, let's kind of catch you up to speed. And then we actually have one of their newest palettes that we're gonna get into. We're gonna do a little looky look on each of us and do some, gonna do some comparisons. And then we'll also talk about their newest Kiss My Liquid Lip Balms. Yep. Balms. Yeah, okay, we got the name right. Yeah. Hi. Hey, SJ, thank you for joining us. Hello. Hello, Gemma. Okay, now, where is my thing? Let me share this with you rather quickly. Rowan, we're kicking it off. Would you say the end of our Rowan series? Yeah, I think, I think that's fair to say. So if you're mm -hmm. curious, Rowan Beauty is pretty much a clean, luxury, glamorous, and innovative brand that was established in 2019. So it's fairly new brand. And I kind of like that because it's something different. Something that yep. we can share with you, and they make pretty, pretty nice products. Like I love that they're innovative. It's all their products are an original formula, so you're not gonna see them anywhere else. Yep. And yes, they're gluten free. They're vegan. They're cruelty free. What more could you ask for? Clean luxury beauty. Exactly. <laughs> Hi, Thanks ladies. Look at you. See that? Oh. oh. Hey, we'll come back to that one in a second. Wait, that's the wrong page. Oh, I wanted to pretty much oh. share all their products with you. Here we go. They have a bunch of products. So when she pulls yeah. them up, they go. go. It's like I said, they, they're pretty new, but they do have some, I want to say like core staples in the mm -hmm. collection. So they have oh. eyeshadow palettes and we'll definitely get into that because I find them to be very unique. Their formula is very different and they're quite beautiful, which we'll get into. They mm -hmm. also have mascara. I mean, a clean mascara. I haven't tried it. Have you tried it? No, I haven't tried all the products that we're going to talk about today. That's it. <laughs> okay. But no, the mascara, the, I think they have a brow pencil. I'm not sure. Yeah, they do have brow. Um, they have singles. They've got singles. They um, also brush, have a brush. A dual brush. They've got the lip liquid lip balms, which we'll share yeah. today. We have three of them, but then they recently dropped ones that have shimmer in them. Yeah. And I think I have it here. So they have a clear with gold, a light pink, and a nudie rose gloss. But they all have shimmer, which is not really my thing. But yeah. if you love shimmer and you see the ones that we showed today. Oh, here goes the brow pencil. I see that. Yeah. Oh, and they have a value set. Yep. Here's what I like. I mean, yeah, it's more on the luxury spectrum but the prices are are quite reasonable i'll say mm -hmm. so that's I agree. Awesome. so those are all of the products from rowan and again it's more on the luxury end it's got a very unique and original formulation it's clean ingredients gluten-free cruelty-free and vegan check, check they checked all the boxes for Pretty sure much. So. Hi, everybody. I see the comments going. <laughs> Hi, guys. Okay. So, the newest addition to the Rowan family is the Mood Forever palette. And I mean, I think the packaging is cute. The this maroon. Yeah, compared, Epa, we're throwing stuff everywhere. <laughs> compared to its original packaging, this is a little mm -hmm. bit different. Do you remember how the other ones came? Did they all come in the white box? Because for some yeah. reason, I can't remember. I have two. I have them too. <laughs> but I just don't have the We're not box. hoarders or anything. <laughs> 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 oh, 
but that's what the packaging looks like. And you know what's cool is they actually stamp your product with the expiration date, yeah. which I like. I can appreciate that like a lot. And each one comes with the white pouch. I love this white pouch. Pamela, where are the products made? It says here that they're made in the USA, in, the US. in mm -hmm. I believe California. Yeah, right here. It'll. Yep. It says it right there. Made in good old, in good old USA. <laughs> we both said the same thing. <laughs> uh, okay, so where were we? Yep, and a little. Listen, guys, I know sometimes it can be annoying to have all these pouches for our products, but it honestly, it keeps them clean and nice for travel. Because, like, these things will get fingerprints. Mm -hmm. you know? As soon as you touch them. You take this, you clean it off. Boom, baby. Yeah. It's clean. <laughs> uh, I haven't, I have not swatched this or played with this yet. So you're like, I'm like. I know. I'm like, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> but wait, hang on. It comes with instructions because like, like, like we're telling you, these are not your typical eyeshadows that you just dig your brush in and go. Yes, you can, but there's like a, there are a little something more to them. They're creams. Oh, by the way, I wanted to let everyone know when you order, see, we got ours off the Rowan website and each Rowan order comes with this beautiful uh, pouch. I love it. I have I so have many, many of my orders with this, this, and then it, like she said, it comes with a card to let you know how to use this, especially if it's your first time using this type of formula. They're cream eyeshadows, but they different. They yes. Intuitive, so I love that. So that's why I'm excited that we're doing this. Yes. And what's really cool is that you can use the product in a multitude of ways, mm -hmm. brush, finger, and still achieve a very beautiful look. So, I mean, let's unveil together the new Rowan mood forever eyeshadow palette so this is what the packaging looks like you know all their packaging is that standard silver they all look exactly the same they do they have they the do. information on the back it tells you the colors so get you guys nice and close so you can see are you ready to open it <laughs> wait no hang on again I don't know if we can pick it up on camera, but you do get the expir the actual expiration date stamped in your product, which I think really helps keep things quite organized. Okay, so usually you get the little, um, the jar with the months on it. What they do here is they have like the little time here and then etched into, stamped into the packaging. So this one expires in February uh, 23. Yeah, same, same. So they... They do that on each of them, which we just noticed. So, yeah. yes. All right. So, what is it? Magnetic? Yes. Is it? Is it? No. It's not magnetic, but it's not. It's not magnetic, but it, it, it stays shut. shut. It doesn't, like, stay open. See? Right. Okay. And the package is not super duper heavy, but it's still, uh, a, like, a solid package. Is the packaging metal? I it's think like, it's plastic, it's but it's plastic, like plastic, but it's it gives off that metal vibe, right? It's the gun metal color. It's reflective, so you see yourself in the package, and you'll see everything around you. You'll see your fingerprints, but it's still a good. I know I was just doing that. <laughs> if you need a quick check, if you're traveling with it, hello. All right, hello. you guys ready for the unveiling? <sighs> we'll do it on the count of three, so we could be cute. Okay. 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 <laughs> I'm gonna hold one, it this one. Two, three. three. Oh, you got you got this. Is the mood forever? This is more, I would say, bronzy tones. I see I'm the color pink 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 there. Bronzy, pinky kind the of the thing with these, um, what they call little loom eyeshadows, they're creams, but each, um. Each shadow in the palette has a different formula, so you gotta yes. play with you gotta play with them to to see. And I take a look at this one. I want to see if I can get it to pick up on camera. There are little blue silver reflex in it. This one right here. Oh, I see. Oh my god, it is oh. so like so stunning. As you guys can see, we have not swatched these yet. We haven't even touched them. We've been good. How long have we had this? A week. We've had this a week. <laughs> it took everything in me. I took one photo and I had to put it away. 
Exactly. The mirror on this is pretty nice too. Yeah. I'll give you a quick little look, see. So it's a nice quality mirror. And this is not like mm -hmm. it opens up all the way. All the way. And can we apa? We adjust accordingly. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Now I'm ready to swatch. I'm ready. Finally. Now here's the key factor mm -hmm. when it comes to Rowan. These, when you're using your finger, which is what they recommend, you want to apply some pressure, warm it up, dig, not dig, but you know, warm it mm -hmm. up. And you're going to really see these shadows. Perform. That first layer kind of has like a film over it. So you got to work it. You can't be shy with these shadows. These you got to want to play with. So Okay, one more look see. Oh my gosh, it's so Before pretty. we touch it, right? While it's nice and clean because it's never going to work. One more. <laughs> <laughs> one more Ooh. time. Okay. Oh, no, I'm so scared to watch it. <laughs> All right, so wait. Let's just okay. do it. And let's show them. See, you got to warm your finger up uh -huh. in there. The heat. Here, baby. You see? And, and it this feels one is like, like a gloss. It feels like putty-like, but it's creamy. Mm-hmm. And this then this like one's another wall. texture. What's that one called? Crem crema, crema, crema. Oh, this one is. Oh, you see that? Yeah. What's the next one? Elated. This one right here. This one is a little more has a little more texture to her. Uh huh. They always have a very textured shadow. All right, you ready for the first two? No. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> All right. Oh. All right. Oh, hello. I'm swatching it down here. I'm trying. Whoa. I was not expecting that with the second shade. Look at that. And look at that gold. Look how a little more. Both of us, though. I know. That's what I love. The fact that we can. My, my crema shade is pulling way more gold. And mine is like, I get a little bit of a pink shift in there. Mm-hmm. I see it. Mine just put, you can see the oranginess. And then just look at this. Oh my God. It looks like foil. That's after swatching it. Wow. That's amazing. <laughs> right, I'm ready to touch the other two. <laughs> I know. I got to clean off my finger. I know. Before you make up. These, you got to wipe them off. I love these. They seem like they're a lot, but they're so pretty. What I love most about this brand overall is it's very realistic. It's something you're going to want to reach for because you can just go like this and, and be done. It's mm -hmm. easy, real life, beautiful, glamorous makeup. Once you, you get the hang of them, right, they are super duper easy. And I love it. Oh, this shade is very creamy. Toasty? Ooh, is that toasty or is that impressions? I think it's toasty. It, yeah, it might be. I got to look at the, whoa, that one feels good. Oh, my gosh. Wow. These are the most creamy in the collection. I'll say that. Wow. <gasps> you, hello, pigmentation. Hi, how are you? Look at that. Mo, look how the blueness in your in Toasty comes off on you. Right. Look at that. And look at, it's more bronzy on me. <laughs> Look how this is why I love that we do this because you can see the difference on both of us, right? Because of our skin tones, I'm a little more warm. I'm like, a warm, I'm not, I'm not even gonna go there. <laughs> I pull sometimes warm, sometimes neutral. It depends on how much sun I get. So it's everything always looks a little different on me. But wow, okay. And because I don't get no sun, and I'm saying she I'm a vampire. <laughs> And this is after swatching. This is what they look like. Oh, I just wiped my finger. Oops. Sorry. I'm trying not to make a mess. So I want to wipe off too. Hello, everybody coming in. Thank you so much for joining us. You made it in just ladies. in time. Just in time. Swatches of the new Rowan Forever Mood eyeshadow palette. Oh, it's She's so pretty. Stunning. I already dug right in there, boy. Right? Oh. So beautiful. I don't know where to go from here. <laughs> well, we'll start with a nice little look. See, so what are you wearing on your face today? Let's let everybody know. Gucci baby. <laughs> are we Gucci ganging it up? Yes. yes. We are. Oh, you're wearing it too. I sure am. We didn't plan this or nothing. I wear Gucci <laughs> and 
Chanel and Tom Ford as concealer. And I'm using my usual La Prairie and Sicily concealer mm -hmm. cocktail. You know, oh. usual. The and cocktail. because it was just so amazing, we went in with the Chanel cream bronze. It's oh. Zay. And okay, so what blush are you using? Of course. <gasps> Which my one? Love, my love hate Hermes. No, I'm using tan. I'm using rose tan too. <gasps> Girl. You're twinsies. And I'm using a uh, Dior bronzer. I use the Chanel. Because me and Chanel, know. we're having a moment. Look how, look how the blush looks on both of us. This is what I love. I love that we can share how things look different for different skin tones. So I did that it's, because it's I thought that these together. Yeah. So I think good. so too. But what? Look at how this is pulling pink on mm, me. On you. And, and on so me. It's hotter and warm and pretty. I love it. I'm definitely going to be using this shade. And like, I want to use some of this. Okay, when I've used these, not this particular palette, but these are amazing as one and done. So I'm kind of interested to see how these look as one and done's. Yeah, yeah. Oh. But what I think, honestly, with these shadows, you can definitely use them all on their own. Okay, yeah. but the reality is they're all shimmer and glimmer and beautiful. You're going to need, if you want to go that route, you don't have to. Because, again, these are nice one and done. You can use your brush and just do a soft little dust thing. Mm -hmm. You can use your finger and intensify. Use your finger and keep it soft. But most always, I like to go in with a little transition shade. You can use your bronzer. You can use a little single. I've got the Graph statuesque. I'm going to run that in the crease really quick. Our collections are not the same. <laughs> I'm done with you. I really am. But I always go in with statuesque. Yeah. Yeah. Statuesque is, is a go-to. Yep. Just to uh, add a little contour to my lids. Yes. So I'm add that necessary. In. I agree. Yep. And I like that we're able to share how they look on different skin tones. Mm -hmm. I think that's really, really helpful. So we're just putting statuesque in the crease. Again, you don't have to. But I kind of feel that It'll help the look a little bit. Yeah, baby. So I think going with those do, lighter you shades. Both, you want to do both eyes with statuesque, or you want to try to do a one and done um, on one? We could do one on one and done on one, just so people can see how it looks. Because you can see yeah. I put statuesque on this side, and just to give myself a little bit more definition. And there's nothing on this lid. Okay. So I'm just gonna add a little bit. And as far as eyeshadow primer, I just took my concealer and whatever was yeah. left and put it on my lid. I didn't go too fussy. And that's another thing. We're, I'm going to talk about experience with the other Rowan uh, palettes that I've used. Mm -hmm. I've used them with eyeshadow primer, without. Yeah. yeah. They perform I think well. I have two. Um, if I do use an eyeshadow primer, I use the Hourglass one only because it's very dry, drying. And with these, it just lets it last a little bit longer. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm not going to do that today, but typically that's what I've done wearing the other ones. Look at statuesque. It's I so know, it's beautiful. Gorgeous. This is such a beautiful everyday, just run it in the crease. Maybe you don't feel like using bronzer. Though. That's the cutest though. <laughs> Look at us. Yep. Gemini season is coming. So, you know, I guess we're off to a good start. <laughs> I want everyone to drop down below what is your sun sign. I want to see. Let us know so we can check back in okay, the comments. Okay, we are introducing you to a new brand today. Oh. Mrs. Unnecessary, she's seen ads, but I have no knowledge of this brand. This is, again, this is quite a newer brand. Mm -hmm. 2019 was when they were established. And they, what do we have? These eyeshadows, they have the lip balm, singles, brush, yeah. brow, and mascara. So I think core basics. Mm -hmm. And start. we have we have other videos using, we've collabed using the 52 and the 1111 palettes and also the three liquid lip balms. They Which have newer are. ones, but we've done that. So this is to end off. This palette came just in time. Sure did. Haylock Maiden. 
Oh, she said she recently used the fifth, uh, the 52 degrees. Yeah, the cool palette. That was the one when I first saw this brand was the one that I wanted the most. Oh, Miss uh, Miss Leo, Leo in the house. Leo and Gemini's are usually like best friends. Regina says that she can, yes, see? Mm hmm. Just because of undertones, you can see a major difference. Yep. That I will say. Yeah. In the beginning, you're kind of like, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Okay. Once you get it, you get it. But I, I agree. At the beginning, you're kind of like, mm. but that's why I was like wanting to do this so that we could kind of maybe help with that. Yeah, but so, so that you don't have to stray away from a beautiful. Oh my goodness! Do you see everything is everything. This is for fun, but once you get the hang of it, you'll start using them and wearing them out. And yeah, look at time, boy. Yo, that's what I'm saying. Wait, look, look at it hit the light. I love how your this shade pulls. The blue is really yeah uh, showing on yep. your skin. I jealous. Don't be jealous, baby. That's a little bit. See how I it looks on your leg. You never know. <laughs> Lock maiden. Oh, Gemma is a Gemini too. Cindy Grace peanut butter. Oh, that just sounds good. I love Cindy Grace shadows. Oh, I have yet to try Cindy Grace eyeshadows. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now that we have statuesque in the crease, I am going to, with my finger, I'm going to do this whole entire look. I'm going to do mm -hmm. something a little more on the eye with statuesque and then the eye with nothing will do a nice one and done. Okay. Cool, cool with you? I'm trying to think. Yes. I'm looking at my hand to see which. <laughs> I, I know. know I'm like getting my tired. April's Pisces sun, cancer moon, Capricorn rising. Wow. Woo. She knows her stuff. I love it. <laughs> That's a mix. <laughs> she knows her stuff. Okay. All right. Hmm. Let's see. I'm trying to, okay. like, I really want to go with this shade. Okay. I, I wait, I want to, I have to go into this. Me too. That's. Yeah. So I'm going to start with that one. That's the one that's kind of pulling. That's the one that has those little blue glitters in it. So I'm going to start with that. So again, you got to dig your finger in there and dig don't be scared if it looks like it's making a mess because it's not, it's going to be fine. It's not. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going in with too, 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 too much. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's start on the beginning. Make sure you guys can Let me get close. Jeez. Okay, what Rowan tells you to do is to tap down and swipe. Don't be afraid to get the product on there because if you tap, it might pick the product up. So you want to tap and swipe and then tap your lids. Once it starts to have that little dry down. Oh my God. Right. Look at my eyeball. Damn. Ooh. On the lids, it's definitely pulling more silver. Yeah. But yeah. I can see those little reflex. So if I am going to use a brush, I usually take like a cheaper brush that's like more dual fiber and. And you got a little bit of wiggle room. You still have a little bit of time. Yeah. Just to clean it up a little bit. But I love for mine to go up into the crease. And wow, do you see the blue shimmer? It is gorgeous. Gorgeous. She's so pretty. Why do I have all these natural hair brushes? Where are my synthetic? <laughs> That's why I pulled, I found that somewhere too. And I, I know I have synthetic move. If you are going to a party, honey, the summertime is coming. If you need something, wow. This particular color doesn't have a lot of base color to it, but she purdy. Wow, this is literally just a little portion of my lid. Wow. It looks Whoa, wet. Look how, and see, I shared mine out a lot. No, I no, I'm bringing it over here on the side. She's I'm, not, not I'm bringing it. Honey. I'll share on this one. The one that's the one and done. I don't have time for that sharing business over here. <laughs> Okay. Wow. Mm. I know. I'm like totally impressed. So stunning. Wow. Okay. I'm going to go into that shade that's pulling a little pinky on me and put, well, do I want to do? No, actually I don't. I want to go into the darker one for the rest. I was going to add a little bit of that too. to the. Yeah. Let's do it. And let's, let's see, let's show everybody how different and still beautiful. 
You know what I love about these shadows too? They layer so nicely and they play so well with each other. Share who is she? <laughs> exactly. Wow. Wow. Oh my God. I love this one. I still have to blend the two colors together, but damn. I need to uh, take a little bit off my finger. Yeah. I feel like I got a little happy there. <laughs> you want to know what is so funny too? My eyelids are not that big. <laughs> I'm going to just take the brush. Mm -hmm. Sheer it. Up. Yeah. And look how it's, this is what I'm loving about this formula. You can grab your brush after you've already really intensified and smooth everything out. And as you can see, let me get nice and close. I'm not, do you see any fallout? Fallout who? Who's that? I love the grunginess of these shadows. What is it that everyone used to go to? Coachella? Never been, but yeah. <laughs> this gives me Coachella vibes. Now, for the two colors where they meet, I have an idea. I'm going to take that pinky shade. It's so funny that it's pinky for you. Yeah, p real pink. Because for me, it is not at all. It is definitely... I'm mixing these two together. Oh, I'm taking over that first shade. Wait. Let me clean That's up. what I'm trying not to do, too. I know. I'm going to have to go back in with that first shade and just fix it. But it's so nice that I can share the reality. Like, okay, look, I put a little bit more than I'd like. Let's go in and fix it. And it's easy to fix. Yeah. And I'm actually going to take my little finger. MK, mm -hmm. this is the F Mood Forever from Rowan. It's the newest one in their in their line. So I just went back into the first shade, the one that pulls with those little blue sparkles. It and I'm looks just wet. Touch up. And try to make sure everybody blends together nicely. Wow. <laughs> We're quiet. Like, wait. <laughs> because I'm looking at it and the way the light is hitting the colors yeah. and that this shade right here, you it also has blue specks in it. And I didn't realize, but the shades next to each other, oh it looks God. really, really nice. Do y'all see my lid? And you packed yours on. Mm -hmm. I didn't pack mine on. Oh, wow. Again, we're going to do a soft eye, but, you know, you know, I really wanted to bring it. <laughs> you see these colors? This is more sheer. Hers is more packed on. Wow. The wetness. <laughs> but April, together... you can totally use a brush. Mm -hmm. You don't have to. Use your finger. That's another great thing about these. Yes, I love that grungy, shimmery look. Hey, girl. Hey. Wow. When I use my Rowan shadow, I use my fingers and get a grungy shimmer look. I love warm. I think 75 degrees is what it's called. And the 1111. Yep. We're yep. actually going to do some comparisons and just do a little swatch party for you guys when we're all swatch done. With swatch. Look. We love. I'm going to clean it up with a little bit of eyeliner. I'm just taking statuesque and I'm going to put it on my lower lash line while you do that. Kind of pull the look together. And again, I loved. Did you get fallout? I got no fallout. Fallout who? <laughs> I love that. You I didn't would... get any fallout, but I did smudge a little bit right here by accident. So I'm going to clean that up. But I just want to take a little bit of statuesque. And um... right, now I will it. say, after you clean this off, you might have glitter lingering. My, but it doesn't get on your eye or anything. When I turn, I am dying right now. Look at that. It's like I want to have somewhere to go. Listen, it's club bed. <laughs> and club movies with the kids. <laughs> but just looking super cute. Friday night All right, I'm just going to put a little bit of the Gucci pencil in my waterline. That's what I did too. We're using the same stuff. <laughs> Because I like that the Gucci pencil is super matte and it does not budge once it dries down. 
if you don't uh, touch it and play with it, it don't go nowhere. So I like that for these types of shadows. Whew. Yes. I just want you guys to see. They blend so beautifully together. Turn your head, do the head turn and watch the, oh, watch it hit the light like nobody's business. Oh my goodness. I love it. Do you have a favorite palette? You can't ask me those type of questions. I can't pick <laughs> I'm gonna ask you. Cause you know, I don't wanna be asked. Hey, Vicky J. Hey, this girl. Is, this is unnecessary. She said she can't use her fingers. You know what? I think for the look that we're going to try to do like a one and done for you guys, we'll use a brush so you could see. Yeah, so I have a synthetic flat brush I want to try yeah. with this shade over here on the other lid. Which two shades didn't I use? Well, I used three on this eye. What other uh, shade, what shade did you use? I used I used three. I used these three. Well, there we go. I used everything but this one. Okay. So I didn't use these these two at the top. I used the two at the bottom. Well, the two at the top. <laughs> you are out of control. Out of control. I really want to use Little this mascara. shape as a one and done to give that wet look. Ooh. It's mascara time, girl. We gotta finish one eye. Mo, get out of here. Eye. Get out. Why are you using my stuff? Because you told me to. Because <laughs> you told me to get it a while ago and I finally got it. Listen, because I don't shut up about this mascara. Okay, that's why. <laughs> but what I do really like is that it is beneficial to the lashes. So, you know, you're getting a little double. Two for one. You getting a two for one, baby? <laughs> I like it. Stop it right now. I like it. I love these shadows. This I love this mascara because it's so lengthening and it is super duper black. And it wears all day without smudging or uh -huh. anything. It is absolutely beautiful. And it's still comes off super duper easily. There is no I want to make sure y'all can see. I have no are you there we go. Can't hide, okay? No fallout. Let me let the <laughs> mascara dry before I uh She's like, get all. Well, this wand is really big. <laughs> 11 11 all day. Yes. I love, I love the 11 11 too. I think that's my favorite. But then this is kind of like, damn. Oh my God, Miss Unnecessary. I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> Why you do that? Hold on. Wait. Hold on, let me let me see what MK said, and I'm gonna get to Mrs. This reminds, me, this reminds me of my shadows that look like the nail polish in this. <laughs> yeah, no, for real, absolutely. You know what? We're gonna do a comparison so that you can. Hey, maybe you don't if you have eleven eleven because as the eleven eleven is kind of that pinky hue. So let's see. We will see. Once we're done, well, with the other Leo, eye. this is what. All right, I'm gonna keep this swatch here when we swatch the others because for Mo, the pinkiness comes through on me. You get orange, terracotta, bronzy, copper. Yeah. I don't have no pink hues here, so it's so interesting how different they look on us. Yeah, that's another thing. So yeah. All right, now we have we have to face we have to face this question. Okay, so this is unnecessary. <laughs> What's the palette you reach for? For effortless. Okay, I think for effortless, oh, I go for 1111. I was just, yeah, I, I just picked Because of the formula. Yeah. The formula is effortless. So 1111, yeah. yeah. And then oh, for man, Uber for, Glam, I almost feel like this one, the new one, the Forever Made. I know, I was going to say that, but since this one just came out and I can't count this one because obviously I have not worn it for that, I would say the 75. 75? Yeah, I'm for Uber Glam. The shine in this one is that there's no other one that this is the closest in formula wise. Yeah. All right. And then for if, if Ethereal Glam Queen, I would say um, the 52. I don't know. Because of how it pulls on me. 
That's yeah, that's going to be what it is. Because honestly, even with the eleven eleven, you can get that ethereal. Ether yeah. Soft. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> okay. 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 That's okay. it. No more. No more. I can't handle it. <laughs> Leave those questions for Mo. <laughs> it's my okay. fear. Whatever. While hang on, while you do that, let me look for my synthetic Wayne Goss brush because this is the no. Wayne Goss baby. Yeah, I know I have synthetic. I wonder how brushes. this is gonna pick up with this brush. Jesus, you know you would have thought I'd have my life together by now. What's that? <laughs> how do I have all these brushes already, and they're not the ones I'm looking for? That's how it always goes. And why are they all dirty? This is the only thing. I just used a wipe and then I picked up the wipe in the wrong spot. Oh, so I got God. it all over my hands. <laughs> this love is that. not, this doesn't normally happen, guys. Okay. Do I not have this? Yeah, the 75 is definitely great for glam. Mo, you haven't used your 75 yet. <laughs> just saying. Brand new. Look at that nonsense. Look at when it's brand new. I think these have the most similar formulas to the 75. So if you have the 75 and if you ever swatch the others, you know that the 75 is different. This one is the most like the 75. As formula wise. This is crazy. Where is my synthetic He's brush? Comments, no more hard questions. Okay. Okay. Oh, you should have a brush cleaning party. <laughs> Maybe that'll help it be less painful. I wonder how the shade that I want to use, I don't think I should really use a brush for. But then maybe I should just use some of the other color. You're doing a one and done? Yeah. On this eye with a brush, just to show that you can achieve a very soft look. And I think I'm going to use, I'm going to use two shades. This one and this one. But, well, you, okay. Get away, man. You, you need to stop. Why are you being just like in my brain as I'm thinking and coordinating color store? She's already like, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> okay. It's just a Gemini thing. We're both doing the same <laughs> And I'm not even looking at you. I wasn't either until I looked down. Oh my gosh. I'm going to start off with this shade. Hang on. Let me get the mirror. Oh my God. Now remember, it's going to be soft. This applies the product. Okay. Better? No. It, compared to how I've used with other palettes. Uh -huh. With the other ones. I like it with a brush. Yeah, you can use definitely. It's so different on me and you, though. I'm just going lightly with this because that's what I like about this. There is definitely a shift on this color. That first one, right? Uh huh. It's very ethereal. I don't, I don't have a lot on there, but that's just it with the brush. Make sure y'all can see. This is the same here. Yours looks more gold. I know. Mine is more like not. <laughs> Well, listen, everyone, depending on your skin tone, depending on your shade, you can see how different these palette looks on us. We don't make this up. That's what you I love about live in a live format. Yeah, you can't really hide in a so live. The second shade, I can tell, is not picking up as much on the brush. So this is going to be interesting. Wow, look at that. Bam. Okay. This is the top shade. You're on to that other one? Mm-hmm. I just want you guys to see how it picks up with this. Even the way that it moves around in the pan. Is yeah, different. it is. It's like a totally different texture. Mm -hmm. See this one to this one. This one is definitely more putty like. Yeah. And then these you can see they're like there's just like a little more something to them. Okay, so I'm just picking up this. So normally when I'm applying regular eyeshadows, I don't go up into up here with the shadows, but I love the way these uh these look all over my lid like, to give that grungy look. But you know what? 
you can leave it soft, but you can definitely build it up. Mm -hmm. It's soft and pretty. It definitely is way more glowy on your lids with the brush. I'm going to use my finger. But let me show you that I'm going to build it up as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so pretty. Wow. There's definitely a shift of like pinky red with this shade. Yeah. Yes. That's it. But you don't get that in the swatch. No. Mine that's crazy. Pink. In the swatch, it just looks pink. I'm only using this brush just to soften this up. I'm not applying all the product. And again, I'm also going to put statuettes on the bottom. Wow. Oh my gosh. I I'm like the turning like the brush around. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of this shade. Same. To just blend. I literally just did that as you said. That's what you're oh about. Oh my to do. god. I want to put a little bit in the inner corner. Yeah, just to make it pop. Then... Now again with these shadows, they would move throughout the day if you don't put uh, but you could just tap it right out if you don't put a primer. But it's okay. What a difference. I know. And looks. Wow. Ah. Yeah, let me put statuesque on my lower lid. We so quiet. We like it. <laughs> I know, right? It's like, wait. You're not I just, I'm nothing. trying not to uh, accidentally. T I always touch my face with my hand when I'm using these palettes. And I'm trying not to do that. You could do your face first. You could do your eyes first with these. You're not going to get a lot of fallout. I like to do my face first with these palettes. Ooh! Wow. So see, this is it with the brush, and this is it with the finger. Like, of course, the finger's a little more intense. But look how they're so different on me. We just use the same colors on each side. And it looks so different, the colors. The pinkiness is really pulling on you. I just love turning my head. Like, oh, my <laughs> God. Like... You shining, baby. <laughs> yes. Well, thank yes, you, Rebecca. Okay. I love that, too. So much. Yes. But when the sun hits this, forget it. Seriously, forget it. I want I you to clean see my how hands. it looks dry down. Don't remember, don't forget to clean your hands. I am. That's face. what I'm doing now. I have to. Because if I don't, I'm excited to swatch the other ones next to it. I love pink. A sticky primer time. base. Um, which shade? We are. We're both little twinsies. <laughs> Our birthdays are very, very close together. We're like days apart. Like, mm -hmm. it's, it's like, hey, what were our parents thinking? <laughs> are we related or not? Nah? <laughs> I know. It's still to be determined. Sticky primer. Um, That could potentially. But honestly, I've worn these without a primer. Mm -hmm. And I haven't had any issues. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mascara. Hello. On this one, I want to apply a little bit less. I can totally see that. Yeah. Right. If you have um because most of these don't have that much of a base pigment. This particular palette does. But you could. I've used these over the Charlotte Tilbury, the Tom Ford cream. I gotta be quiet because this wand is big. <laughs> you know how many times I stab myself in the nose? Okay, this is like the only time we'll be quiet. <laughs> Says who? Y'all. Oh my God. What I want to do, I already got a little bit of glitter. I touched my finger on my face right here where I said I wasn't going to. <laughs> Vanessa, look what MK said. <laughs> yep. Yeah. 
we didn't plan this, guys. I promise you, we didn't. <laughs> it just sort of kind of happened. But that's cool. Should we put on a lip and then get into the comparison? Well, just does, does everybody want to see swatches? I have all three of the original liquid lipsticks. And Not lipsticks. If we my have lipsticks. done dedicated videos to yes. Lauren and all of that. But look at the packaging. I this love is, it. This is where I lost it. Okay. The packaging. Like it is just so aesthetically beautiful. If you love shimmer, they have ones that are similar with shimmer. So they have a clear, a pinky, and a nude. So it will be minus this one with shimmer. Oh, yeah, that clear gloss. That's right. I think I'm going to go with this because I use the the blush that I use. What shade is this? I'm going to use the... <laughs> Remy? I think I want to use two. I want to use Charlie and Remy. Okay, I'm going to use Remy. Char I love Charlie, so I'm going to swatch her. Where should I swatch her? Look at the applicator. I love the applicator because that's like, it helps so much with application. And these are exactly what it says, a liquid lip balm. And that's what it feels like. It has a little bit of minty. It smells very minty. And then this one is Scout. I like this one too for a light wash, but not for today. And they're so comfortable. The only thing I think we have that's comparable are the Westman Atelier Squeaky Clean Lip Balms. And but these have way more pigment. These are different. Right. But these have way more pigment. If and I had to. The, the Westman Atelier feels like an actual lip balm. These feel balm-like, but it doesn't feel like it's doing anything balmy. This is the shade Charlie. I'm using Remy. Remy Ma. Remy Ma. Oh, the mint. I'm going to swatch uh, Remy, which is the nudist. That's what I'm putting on my lips now. But even though it's a nude shade, it's still very, very pretty. It's nude, but look, at it. I feel like it pulls pink on me. <laughs> like everything. <laughs> you, I know, your skin tone boy brings out the pink. I like doing this. I like to mix these two. I've never... You should. But with this look, see, it's not. I'll put a little bit on the A end. little bit. Who's she? Okay. And then. I love that these fit my cupids well so perfectly. What's this one called? This is Scout. This is mm -hmm. the darkest one, but don't be fooled. It is beautiful and you can share on it on the lips. This. Yes. You hear that? Stop it. <laughs> so here are the three colors are of the and that's what they want. I swatched it in the worst possible spot. I know it's habit. <laughs> and this is what they look like on the lips. And they're so comfortable as well. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay. They feel so nice. Okay, y'all. Who's ready for what a little swatch party? 11, 11. 11, 11? Yeah. So, side by side. Okay. Let's do a little side by side action. So, here is the new Mood Forever. And here is 11, 11. That's what they look like side by side. Try to get his. There we go. So, mine's Mood Forever, 11, 11. So this, these are the swatches for the Mood Forever. And then let's, again, you got to warm it up. It's going to yeah, feel a little gritty. And then once you warm it up, it the feels The first crazy. shade in the 11, 11 is way more like of a chunky shade. Yeah. I think this, yeah. Yep. Okay. I'm going to swatch mine on the other hand. Hey, shoe lady. You made it just in time for all the fun. <laughs> so these are the shades here from 1111. Look how beautiful they are. I See, know. this is that burial look.
Oh my god. Woo, woo baby. Y'all. Yeah, you see that first one, you see that's a little more chunky, but let me tell you, once you swipe it, it blends. Mm -hmm. Not it's not like something that's like a complaint cuz it's not. It's beautiful. Wow. I know. Literally. This is Mood Forever and this is 1111. Look how different it looks on you. Hold on, I'm almost done. Let me wipe my hands again before I you forget. And then let me wipe them. This last shade for you, look. This one is, is the, the isn't it like a little dryish? Um, oh all of them. It's not as creamy, I'm noticing. Hold on, let me swatch it again. But it's still it's yeah. I mean, I, it. mm -hmm. But just compared to the other ones. It's more okay. Look, because look at that. Damn. This one feels more wet. Like you said, yes, it is more dry. It's like a stiffer, but not in a bad way. All right, so hold on. Here we go. Here's the mood forever. And then here's 1111. Let me see how different these look. Look at how different. <laughs> like, excuse me. That's crazy. Wow. Mm -hmm. So different, but in a good way. Sheesh. All right, now what's this question here? Hang on, Rebecca. Out of the two palettes, so I'm assuming Mood Forever and 1111. Oh, no. They give a, such a different vibe. It's so different. But it's, okay. such... if you had to pick one. I know, I know, I know, I know. It's not Come fair up. because we just got the Mood Forever, so it's not fair. But okay, before we had Mood Forever, I loved out of the Rowans, 1111 was my favorite. But I mean, I'm really feeling this color story. Before we got moved forever, 1111 was, was it. It literally was between 1111 and 75. And I cannot pick one. I can't. But I love 52 because I don't have anything like it in my collection. What are we swatching next? 75? Or no, you want to do 52. Because this is 52 next to I'm trying to make sure I'm picking up the right ones. Mood Forever and 52. 52. Mood Forever. And then these are very all different. Three up at the same time, or is that gonna be a fail? Oi. Let's try. I mean, it don't hurt to try, y'all. And this was eleven eleven. Oh, Casey. Yeah. I did post a story on my Instagram if that's a little more helpful if we fail. There we go. 11, 11, 52 in the middle, and then the new mood forever. <laughs> they're not similar, guys. No, they're very And different. I love that I have all of them. You, Yeah. Let me turn them around so I know when we're talking about them, which ones to pick up. I know. Okay. All right. I'm going to swatch these on the same hand that I swatched. See, this one in the... That first one is very creamy, just like this. See, the shades in 52 are so unique. They really are. I Yeah, this one. I feel really like you're not going to dupe this. Any, I don't think any of these are dupable. That's for one. Like, your creativity is no other with these palettes. Ooh. This 52 is the most. No, I don't know. Between 52 bad. and. Nothing like I expected. Very helpful. Yeah. <laughs> Yeesh. All right, Mrs. Unnecessary. Enjoy your evening. Thank you so much. Enjoy your dinner. Good night. Lorraine. Hey. Hi, Lorraine. That's my other New York sister. <laughs> so this is 1111 and 52. You see that blue and that um, purple? And this shade hashtag is... Whew, and then look how pinky the shade in 52 is on me. And then compared to. Whoa. And this is over a black tattoo. Like you see the base pigment in these shades. 
Wow. Look at this little swatch party we got going on, y'all. Look how more rosy pink the light shade in 52 is on me compared to you. It's way, it's so, it's so much deeper. Here we go. Look at that. This is 52 right here. L but look at this one. Do you see how beautiful and unique this color story is? And then the shades. They're all so different. Truly. Look at that. So, okay, looking at the way that 1111 and Move Forever Swatch on me, you can see that those orangey shades and the coppery shades and Move Forever, how they both pull similar on me. If you are of lighter skin tone, it would just have to be the color story. I wouldn't say you need both, but they are on the eyelids. These shades have so many different specks of like blues and yep. the red along with that base pigment. So it would literally just have to be what you like because they, these do not swatch like how they look on the eye. And then you have these. Look at this. Look, look at this one. <laughs> I know. Whoa. It's, it's a gunmetal color. On you, it looks a lot more blue, which yeah. it doesn't pull that on me. But on my eyelids, it pulls very, very silver. But look how this purple is pulling on me versus you. You're I know. It's so it's deep. Open. It's so, yeah. yeah. And I love this hashtag shade all over the lid. I use this shade a lot, a yeah. lot, all the time. That's a nice one and done. Whew. You're gonna really, the you gonna really make me do this? Yes, I am. Yes, you are going to touch it. See, I've used mine already. I have a video on my channel from last summer using this. <sighs> I'm gonna start it. Want to. Yeah, you're gonna do it. I don't want to. <laughs> tell everybody <laughs> tell her in the comments she's gonna do that. <laughs> I know it's so hard. Now you're gonna want to use it. Oh, yeah, I have to. But I was saving I it. I use shadows going to Target, going to Starbucks. Listen, we go to Target looking like we going to the, I don't know. We going to the ball? To the ball, baby. <laughs> all right. Oh, all right. One more look at 75 before My I was her. Dressing clean. And here's 75 beside Mood Forever. I use 75, all of these shades by itself and together all the time. Oh, this the most. gold right here is it. I know this gold on the lids. It's the best gold I have in my collection. I'll say that. But these bronzy shades, the thing that I love about the warm palette is they're also some of these shades pull neutral too. And it's very beautiful. Oh my God. Yep. Oh. Wow. They're not the same. This is the mood forever, and this is the 75. Do you see that? Stop. <laughs> and you've been holding off. Listen, this palette, that's why I can't pick a favorite. The color stories are. Damn. I swear it's a weird angle, but. You know, I was like, I was thinking automatically. Okay, I'll show you guys. These two shades right here, like this one from the Mood Forever and then this one from the 75. I was like, oh, those might look a little similar. Uh, Not even no. close. This Not even one close. Is more warm gold versus mm -hmm. the Mood Forever. That's a true copper. Yep. So and again, the specs that the Mood Forever gives off, it's literally a vibe. Totally. Like, the warm, there's a reason. This was the first palette they ever used, and they really put these on the map. And I love how realistic these color stories truly are. Oh, thank you, Lorraine. Yes. Yeah, beautiful. Really, really pretty. I don't think anybody having all these in the collection will be disappointed. Now, seriously, though, if you had to only pick one, and I mean, including the new one, what are you feeling? <laughs> it's not fair. 75. 75. Yeah, I'm look at 75. Like, damn. I get the most use out of it. Even though it's the warm palette, these could pull neutral. And you can get them to pull cool. I've used all of these as single eye looks. Every oh, last, I use every last shade all the time. 
But I like this one. I love it too, but I can't use it as much. Every look. Like I can use this with a warm look, a cool look. If I'm not, if I don't know what I'm wearing, if I don't know what I'm doing, I could use this. You can glam it up. You can make it every day. This um, Mood Forever is beautiful too, but because of the different shifts, you could get away with using it Damn. And I didn't pack my shades on like you did, Mo, and look at the difference in eye looks. And we pretty much did the same look on each side, just a little less less intense for me. Finger? Oh, yeah. like, look how different. Me? And you see how it would crease a little bit, but you just tap it out. Yeah, if you have really any creasing, you just go like this. You wouldn't even need a mirror to do so. You could just tap it and go about your business. Out and wipe your hands off because... Yeah. Excuse me. I just feel like my look requires me to intensify my highlight. Oh. Well, Chanel. -o. Chanel, baby. Yeah. I feel like my, I just needed that. Extra glam. Just because we're really glowing on the lid. Which one is everyone else's favorite? Like with these swatches. Are we feeling the new mood forever? 11, 11. And if you want to see the 52 and 11, 11 on each other, we have videos that we'll link down below as well that we've done in collaboration with each other. Yeah. Because they look so, they pull so different. So different. And so, also swatches of all the lips. Mood forever. 11, 11 right here. I have 11, 11 here. 75. Wait, is that 75? Wait. No, 52. 52. 52. When it's cold outside in your neck of the woods, it's 52. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then 75. And I love that we can show how different they look on both of our skin tones. I know you can't wait to use 75 now. I know. I'm using it tomorrow. Mm hmm So what do you think? How are you feeling about this new palette? I love the color story. I love when they did the swatches in the promo shoot over on their Instagram, the way the colors pop, it literally, you get what you get. You can't make this up. And mine's are light swatches too. I didn't even, I love the uniqueness of these shadows. I love my creativity that comes out when I use these. It looks like you did a lot when you really didn't. Yeah. So which one's your favorite? Wait a minute. Momentito. I have a question. No. Nope. On the promo photos, didn't it look like she was glowing like a different type of glow? Do you feel like they had this on her face? Probably. <gasps> can you please? Please? Can you just tap that on the face for me? I can't believe I didn't even do that. Thank you. Because you know I love these type of highlights. So this is what I'm getting on my finger. Yes. Oh, and then you could probably even hey, if, uh, share it if you want to share it with your sponge. Mm -hmm. You can just share it. Oh, that looks good. Damn. Rebecca likes eleven eleven. Yeah, eleven eleven was my go-to. Yeah, she's I pretty, like and like we said earlier, it's ethereal. Yeah, but you can still make it super glam. Oh no! Oh my god! Have we started something? Watch, you're gonna be killing this entire color and not the rest in like two seconds. And it also gives like this this reflect. Yeah, I put a lot on my nose by accident. <laughs> Let me just give it to you guys one more time. A happy mistake. A happy mistake, buddy. I'll try it too on top of the Chanel. You see that? Wow. Yeah, we can use this on the face. Look how it blends. Let me get close so y'all can see. Wow. Do you see that? Wow. <laughs> Whoa. That you know what that reminds me of? Oh, you can of? use the palette on your face. That reminds me of the um Westman Atelier. Lit up stick, but it's way more gold. Actually, no, not the lit up stick. The uh the super loaded tinted highlight. In um, put a pesh. This one, if anybody. That's the shade on the face, guys. This one. I need to swatch this beside it. I'm just curious. Is all hell now? No, this is different. Wow, that's so different. Sheesh. Okay, forget that. But 
beautiful formula. You see that glow? Yeah, that looks that pretty. glow, baby. And let me just add a little bit more blush on top. Let me see how it sits on top. Finish it up. Finish it up. Gotta finish finish it up, up that looky look. Ooh. Look at her being fancy. 75, Marley. <laughs> Lorraine says we're having a moment. <laughs> it's so pretty. I really like that you can use that on the face. It's gorgeous. It shifts. Looking at it in, okay, in La Mira, it's pulling a little pink. It's giving but, you a pink reflect? Yeah. It's so pretty. Damn, look at these swatches. You're not going to want to wipe that off. It's like you want to bathe in it. I know. I want to do more. <laughs> it's right. They need more because I can swatch these. I love sitting in my vanity playing with these. Yeah, they're beautiful. And then the lips. And what I love about these is that mintiness goes away. So it's not like lingering and annoying. And also mm -hmm. when it does fade and absorb, you're left with this very soft tint on your lips. It's very comfortable to it. And it doesn't give and that nasty. Plush. Like we've like been, we've been talking, talking and it's not balling up. We mix two colors and you still, right. The color, it's like a stain. Yeah. But it's not intense. Yeah. So... We love. I'm excited. Look at all the swatches. So you listen. You pick your favorite, though. I'm. I um. She tried it. Okay, and I'll do it in order. I still really love my eleven eleven, but now this one I know, which is the new Mood Forever shade. I know I'm gonna get a ton out of use out of. But you see, fifty two. 52 is special. 52 is something I want to reach for when I like want to do something different, a little more smoky, a little more glam. You want to put an outfit together for that. Yeah. So that's that would be my order. And I can't talk about this one yet. Because you haven't used it. But I that's can already tell y'all. <laughs> one in Zun City. Yeah. With each shade. Very pretty. And look how the light hits it. Like you see that? Like, this look how the light hits the lid. Like, ex wait, I have to do it again. I can't help it, y'all. <laughs> Slow-mo. I love it. I do. I Where's do. Rowan at? So, listen, if y'all, you know, were considering Rowan or, you know, you weren't familiar with Rowan, I hope we were able to give you some insight on the brand. It's a newer, newer company. I think they have some great core products. Products Let's that are really everyone do a little screenshot with us and tag Rowan. Yes, please. Ready? Yeah. So if you want, get a little screenshot. Mm. And tag Rowan, please. So they can know because I love them. They're so fun. We have these- I feel like they're underrated. We have these extensive makeup collections and sometimes you just want something fun to play with. You can swatch them against other cream products that you have in your collection. You can swatch these against Pat McGrath and Natasha Denona and play around. Yeah. And yeah, I yeah. like it. Yes, it nice Joy. Thing. Joy, so true. They sure do. <laughs> Certainly. Right. <laughs> We're case in point. See, the, the uh, Mood Forever it pulls very pinky on Mo. On me, you see the coppery tones and it does not pull the same. I say the same thing for the 52. We they swatch pretty similarly, but on my eyelids, if you ever look at, if you watch our videos, it pulls very silver on me compared to her. No, I get and well, the 1111. Right here. I get the one pinky shade. This is it hit for me. I say the one that pulls similar on both of us is the 75. That Yeah, that's probably the only one that really is true. Well, not really, because mine is brighter. It's yeah. very bright on me. The mine yellow is, really is very yellow. Like, like, look at this one. It's pulling a lot darker. Uh-huh, and it's pulling a little bit more cold neutral. And that same shade on me, you see the brown tones in it. So everyone with these, that should go to show you. It, you can customize it. They're unique to each person. Yeah, they're and I unique. Think that's beautiful. In every way possible, in the color stories, in the formula, and how it pulls on every person who uses them. Yes.
So I like them. I think you can get them. May I've never tried their singles shadows before, but I'm they look like they're pretty. the same, right? They look like they run more of that chunky formula that's in each palette. Each palette has different formulas. Each shade is a different formula. And yeah. Christina. I almost bought 1111 and mood something last night. Wait a minute. They had a sale? Ooh. They do that a lot. They have those sales. These are special on everyone. I agree. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what makes them so unique. Yep. It's yeah. one fit. And then if you can get so. a little silly sale, that's even more. Perfect. And listen, don't sleep on these little guys. These are yeah. pretty. And I mean, look the at the packaging. packaging. Yep. Look at that. Ooh, so beautiful. I'm and even though they have that little mint when you first put them on, it's something that goes away really quick. Yeah. Beautiful. It's not plumping minty. It's like it's a different type of mint. Is there a reason? I don't even remember. I'm not sure, but I love them. Is this glass? No, that's plastic. Because if you had, if you would have, you would have heard it. It's plastic. Non sticky alternative to the classic lip gloss. Let me share this. Mm -hmm. So they're a non-sticky, which is true because if we put our lips together, they don't stick. So they're mm -hmm. a non-sticky alternative to the classic lip gloss. Liquid lip balms, no thank you. <laughs> they soothe the lips and are nourishing. They regenerate and repair, formulated with mango and grapeseed oils to hydrate and protect. Kiss My provides the high shine of a gloss with the nourishment of a balm. And I, I mean, they've explained it perfectly. Yep. Literally what it is. And what are they? 26 a piece, which is not bad because, I mean, we're talking. And I think they had a set. Yet. I purchased mine's in a set. Yeah, we got the set, I think, when it first came out. Mm -hmm. but let's see. They do have ones that have shimmer in it and they don't look too bad. I'm not a big shimmer gloss type of chick, but if yeah. you are, personally, it looks beautiful. Personally, you know why I don't like shimmer glosses is because I worry that when the gloss part fades, you're just going to have this scatter of gloss all over your mouth. And I'm like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of shimmer. Mm -hmm. Why can't I click the clear shade? I'm trying it's to all, the It's shade. the Cosmo clear with gold shimmer. Yeah, I'll click. Can you stop? I think it just wants you to see that one. <laughs> Apparently. Let's see if they have it down here. Here we go. Oh, there it goes. There we go. Here it is. Like that looks really pretty, but yeah. in reality, and I know I wouldn't use it, but it's nice to know that they have these with a little shimmer if that's what mm -hmm. you're looking for or going for. <gasps> All right. All right. Yep. Wait a minute, Leah. <laughs> you, oh, did you did what now? You did what now? Same, oh. sis. I've been holding my Tom Ford quad collection like every two weeks. Like I buy another one, and my husband's just like, "Are you going to use them now?" And I'm like, mm, "You just need them. They're so pretty." But these are different. These are cream shadows that are a totally different experience. But yeah. I do get it. Yeah, yeah. This is like you treat yourself if you want something new and fun. Yeah, it's totally different and mm -hmm. beautiful. You see that? Yes. All right, Thank guys. you so much for having me again, Mo. I appreciate this. We wrapped up our little Rowan series. So the next yes. time we have another one, you know me and her are going to bring it to you. That's right. And what we'll do is we'll update the Rowan playlist. Because what I'm mm -hmm. trying to do is have playlists for each brand so that everything's organized for whenever, you know, you're particularly looking for a product. I'll have mm -hmm. everything organized because organization is key. <laughs> but well, Gemini thank you guys. And Yes. And, you know, check out, wait, this way. It's, it's mirrored. Sorry. Um, Venice's channel and her Instagram will be linked down below. Thank you all so much for hanging out with us tonight and letting us share the new Rowan mood forever eyeshadows and all the other fixings and, and creating these beautiful looks. Don't forget to give today's video a thumbs up, guys. Subscribe if you haven't. Thank you all so much. And this is going to wrap up the live week here on my channel. This was a lot of fun. It's so back to uh, to the to even more fun next week. We'll see what kind of trouble we get into. <laughs> All right. No.
I know who, trouble who. <laughs> All right, everyone, enjoy your evening. Have an amazing weekend. And I and Venice, of course, we'll see you very soon. Stay beautiful, guys. Bye, guys. Bye.